SmartGuard installation video. Before installation, check whether the outer package is intact. Open the packing case and ensure that all items are complete. Preparing tools. Preparing cables. Networking. You can connect all or some of the loads to the smart card. If you connect all loads to the smart card, the loads need to be classified into backup loads and non-backup loads. If you connect some of loads to the smart card, the loads need to be classified into backup loads, non-backup loads, and loads not connected to the smart card. Installing the device. Determine clearances for installing the smart card. Mark four mounting holes using the marking off template. Install expansion bolts. Install the mounting bracket. Mount the smart card and tighten the expansion bolts at the bottom. Connect the PE cable of the three phase smart card. Connect the PE cable to the ground bar. Connecting smart card AC power cables. Unlock the maintenance compartment door using the delivered key. Keep the four switches off. Lift the maintenance compartment cover and remove it. These are wiring terminals. Prepare and connect the AC output power cable. Remove the locking cap and waterproof rubber plug at the bottom and select a waterproof rubber plug with the corresponding cable diameter. Connect inverters to the SmartGuard according to SmartGuard port requirements. MAP0 inverters are used as an example to describe how to connect inverter AC power cables to the SmartGuard. Route the AC cables through the locking caps and the waterproof rubber plugs in sequence. Connect the cables to the SmartGuard correctly and securely. Try to pull the wires back to check that the wires are installed properly. Tighten the waterproof rubber plugs and locking caps at the bottom. Connect the other end of each cable to the inverter AC output port. Connect the grid AC power cable. Connect the other end of the cable to the power grid. Install the backup load output power cable. Select supported loads based on inverter models. Cables are installed in the same way. Connect one end of the cable to the smart card. Connect the other end of the cable to the RCD for residential backup loads. Installing the non-backup load output power cable. Connect one end of the cable to the smart card. Connect the other end to the RCD for residential non-backup loads. Connecting EMMA signal cables. Connect the EMMA signal cable. The 14-pin terminal of the EMMA can be connected to the signal cables of four devices at the same time. COM can be used to route signal cables for the heat pump, meter, generator, and ATS. After cable connection is complete, insert the signal terminal into the port. Tighten the waterproof rubber plug and locking cap at the bottom. Prepare FE communications cables for the WAN and LAN ports. Connect the FE communications cables to the WAN and LAN ports.
If there is one charger, connect the charger to the Emma directly through FE or to the router through FE or WLAN. If there are two chargers, connect the chargers to the router through FE or WLAN. Do not connect one charger to the EMA and the other charger to the router. The S1 ESS can be connected to the EMA or router through FE. Network ports on multiple ESSs need to be cascaded using network cables. If an external antenna is required, magnetically attach the external antenna in the marked area in the upper left corner of the smart card. Connecting smart card signal cables. Installing smart card signal cables. Connecting the generator startup control signal cable. Connecting the M1 and MB0 inverter signal cable. Connecting the MAP0 signal cable. Connecting signal cables in parallel for MAP0 inverters. Remove the signal cable terminal of the smart card. Connect signal cables for the inverter and generator. Tighten a waterproof rubber plug and locking cap at the bottom. Bind the cables. System commissioning. Install the maintenance compartment cover. Remove the bypass switch latch and turn on the bypass switch. Turn on the four switches. Close the maintenance compartment door and lock the smart card. Method 1. Power on in on grid mode. The smart guard is running in on grid mode. Check the device running status. Method 2. Power on by starting the generator. The smart guard is running in on-grid mode. Check the device running status. Power on loads. After the commissioning is complete, power off the system. Open the maintenance compartment door. Turn off the bypass switch and install the bypass switch latch. Close the maintenance compartment door and power on the system. Turn on the four switches to power on the system in off-grid mode. Close the maintenance compartment door and lock the smart card. Power on the devices in off-grid mode. The smart guard is running in off-grid mode. Check the device running status. Power on loads. Scan the QR code on the smart guard to create a plant. 